what's going on. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the most spectacular examples of an elliptical galaxy we can say from Earth. Especially all people on Earth. Just I'm not sure where, northern, eastern, eastern, uh, northern, or southern. I'm not sure where. But all I know is massive. And please do not worry about that phone call. Alright. But, but I can say it's massive. No, shut up. Okay. Alright. Well, <clears throat> the massive galaxy, however, well, the most fascinating feature of this galaxy is its jet, which is visible in its real light, as well as X rays and radio emissions. The jet extends from the central supermassive black hole of the galaxy and let's say. It reaches about 5,000 light years. Yeah, about 5,000 light years. It's a true elliptical galaxy. M87 has no obvious dust lanes and very little evidence of star formation. It likely formed from a recent merger between two other galaxies, which I'm not sure exactly. So, it's a type of giant elliptical galaxy, like I said, guys. But one thing I should mention, this is my last, my last video on the galaxies. I won't wait, I won't make any more after this because I'll be continuing on my other season that I planned out for a little bit now. And I should say that I'm almost done with this. Season 2, Galaxies, whatever. Alright, so... That's why I mentioned... Alright, so... Get it? There will be any more Season 2, Galaxies. Alright. I should mention that. Right? Understand that? Alright, good. Well, the destination... M87 is also known as NGC 4486. How about NGC 4487? I bet nobody knows that one. I bet I don't either. The only way I can find out is look it up. You should know that, guys. Uh. But. I said translate it. Now, translate is, in other words, meaning oh. that you change the language to modern language. Alright. That's what I should say. Alright. Understand that? Okay. Good. Let's see. Its diameter is about 120,000 light years. About a little less than my pinwheel galaxy. I Checked out. Check that out over there. Uh, my, my previous video of their channel. My channel, alright? Make sure you check that out. Its mass is about 2.7 trillion solar masses. A lot more than my other galaxy videos I've been making. But the question is why is it so. Why is it the mass more than. Any other galaxy because maybe number one is elliptical and mm, right just give me a second guys and I will continue back in just a second well all right all right so elliptical is using or more or Involving ellipticus, especially so as to be difficult to understand, so really difficult to understand that type of galaxy. A very giant, under, ununderstandable galaxy, is what I should mention. 
The number of stars, it must have around 400 billion stars. Let's compare that to the Pinwheel Galaxy. My reason, my recent one I just made. It stars at 1 trillion, so that may be less, but still has more mass. A lot more mass. Very big difference between the Pinwheel's mass and the M87's mass. Its group is not local. It's actually located at the Virgo Cluster. People should know the Virgo Cluster. It's like... Well, located at the constellation Virgo, I should say. The Interstellar. Well, if you guys have heard about Interstellar, both its definition and the other one they just made last year, that is what's an Interstellar. But, however, its medium Interstellar in MA7 is filled with gas that's been enriched somewhat by materials from stars that have died long ago. So, there may be some enriched with debris and that such. Just saying. Well, but there is dust in the galaxy, however, far less than the Milky Way contents. As the Milky Way has far less, or far more than the MA7. Now, the black hole at MA's and heart has about the mass of about three and a half billion suns. I should say that's a lot of suns. Like, to find out the sun's mass, you have to do a lot of science and math. You want to find that one out, guys. But, it is surrounded by a material, well, or material disk, that's slowly funneling into the black hole. Either by the action of the jet that's moving at a very high speed out of the black hole the other side. So remember, black hole, it spits it out. For example, we get sucked into the black hole, we come out the other side, and a new area of galaxy is born. Well, I should say, I would love Stephen Hawking. And Stephen Hawking said that he was the guy who made up the black hole. I should say, real good. But it's possible that the core of the galaxy has more than one supermassive black hole. So there may be two, three, four, five, who knows? Just well, the nuclear region of the galaxy is also known as an active galactic nucleus. Due to its brightness, invisible X ray, radio and other wavelength so light. I should say there's a well very brightness, I should say. It almost looks like a sci fi. It looks almost like sci fi whenever you go see the galaxy. Well also known as science fiction, I should say. Most of you guys should know that already, but well, the M87 is surrounded by a corona of hot gas. If you guys don't know what a corona is, well, and I'm not talking about beer, alright? It's like the rare filed gases or very gassy envelope of the sun and other stars. So that's what a corina is, if you guys don't know that. But not far from the galaxy is a collection of galaxies arrayed in a pair of chain-like structures called Marquine Chain. Now, I don't know who Marquine is, but I'll probably learn about that. But 
Well, as you say, this one is Martin Keen. Well, according to the internet, it was named after Benjamin Martin an Aramean astrophysicist. His chain is widely popular. So, if you guys don't know about Marquisian's chain, here you go. You got it. Well, they're very visible to amateur observers with good sized telescopes. So, if you have a moderate sized telescope, that'll be good. If you see or use a huge telescope like the big ones in California or so, well, it's a lot of money to own to buy one of those things. Well, but not very good size telescope or monitor size. It's just like it cost about a few bucks. Alright, so. However, we do have it somewhere, just a natural wear, but I'll talk about that anymore. So, alright. Well, I should say. As I mentioned, there is also antenna galaxies. I won't be talking about that because I want to get on to season three. And I know I have a minimum of eight episodes, maximum of eight episodes per per season. Oh, and guess what? If you guys are looking for season three. That's actually my last season for space. Before that, or after that, hmm, let's see, it could be physics, nature, I mean, it could be anything. Just don't forget, it won't be over, alright? We'll continue with that until we got most of science done. Alright, so that's a little introduction to... Season 4, well, Season 4, I might probably say it's nature, or biology stuff, I don't know. But, I believe Season 4, Episode 1 will be on an episode of biology, I mean, I should say biology, that's a real good name. I mean, what is biology? Because, I can understand biology, just... I mean, I can make it like that. Make it where you guys can understand biology a little bit better. With the host, me. Alright, well guys, right before I end the video, I know it's a little longer than my other videos. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching. See you later.